Hello my friends. I am working on my last few days of the book, uh, my Lenormand book, and I saved the worst for last for me. And they say you should never do that, but uh, the worst for me was the history section because I really wanted to pay homage to Mademoiselle Lenormand and wanted to uh, do it truthfully and yet um, make it interesting. And uh, history has just always been like a blur for me. It's not my biggest strength. Um, so having saved it for last, I expected to not like doing this chapter and I was quite taken aback when I started digging how much I became obsessed over this remarkable fortune teller uh, in the 1800s. I, I find her life so remarkable and so eccentric and so wonderful that I am stymied that Hollywood has not yet discovered her story to um, create a motion picture about it, a major motion picture. With the famous people that she dealt with and the major historical events around, uh, which surround her in her time, the imprisonment, uh, the boldness of her predictions, the way she was taught, I mean, and many of the accounts I had read online suggested at the age of 14 she got her first deck of cards and she learned to read through some gypsies. And I learned something quite different that is actually much more interesting and exciting. Uh, she shared my love for books and that kind of got her on her feet. I have to thank Stuart Kaplan. This black book is uh, a history that was written about her right after her passing. Um, this was sent to me by Stuart Kaplan when I mentioned to him my concern about writing the chapter on her history. And he gave this to me from his library and it's all translated into English from French. And as you can see from the post-it notes, I couldn't stop myself. And I think US Games, who is publishing this book, is probably gonna chop out a bunch of what I put in there because I just became so excited at some of the things uh, she predicted, the way she learned. Um, I learned that it, according to this author, it did not appear to be gypsies that taught her how to read cards. Um, I'm gonna leave that up to you to, to enjoy the book and find out. But she also did much more than cards and some of the systems she used, one of them I had never heard of before. It was really interesting. And all I will tell you is that it involves chickens. <laughs> really, chickens. And so anyhow, this chapter, which I dreaded doing good homage to, was actually my biggest thrill. And um, I really am excited about sharing this information with you. I'm sure US Games is gonna have to hack a lot out of it because I just went into overdrive in amazement at um, the stories that were written about this remarkable woman who started from something very ordinary to something absolutely extraordinary. And I also learned how she passed. Um, interesting, very interesting. Uh, I can't wait to share it with you. In any case, uh, I'll be working hard on my book this next week in between working and um, hope you are all doing well. Hopefully this will be published in 2017.